So the world didn't actually end, which is awesome. But like, since there was a possibility that it might end, at least in my mind, I went and told my ex that I was still in love with her. Yeah. And that doesn't sound so bad if I had just, like, texted her and not gotten a text back. But that's not what happened. Because, first of all, I deleted her number when we broke up. And second, I guess I was thinking that if I did it in person and she felt the same, then we could, like, make out or whatever. I I don't know. So, yeah, at some point, I got in my head, like, what if it is true? And the world is ending. Wouldn't I rather be doing something else besides watching movies on my laptop and eating sun chips? Even after that, I didn't make up my mind to drive over to my ex's place until the day before the world was supposed to end. Which is when things started to get crazy. Because, big surprise, I wasn't the only one going out on Apocalypse Eve. And when you're in your car tearing through the side streets because there's backups or accidents on all the major freeways... It somehow seems like a good idea to use Siri. A lot. Like asking her to tweet stuff about the end of the world or play people Bryson songs the whole way to your ex-girlfriend's place. And by the way, I think it's weird that we can have conversations with our phones now, but the voice still sounds like a robot from the early 80s. So finally, I make it to her apartment building and I'm downstairs going, Hey, it's me. Can we talk? Could I just come up? But she won't buzz me in. She just sounds really freaked out that I'm there, and I keep going, Hello? Hello? Into the intercom? But all I get back is silence. And I'm just standing there, not knowing what to do, in front of a little black box that's not talking back to me. Eventually, I dig out my phone and have Siri give me directions to the nearest bar. And the last thing I remember is yelling, I love you, Siri, I love you, Siri, over and over. After that, I must have gotten into a fight or something because I woke up with a bunch of bruises on my face. Either that or someone hit me with their Samsung phone. (sighs) You know, the next time I think the world's about to end, I might just stay home.